So, welcome back to Carp Lounge Tackle. Um, another video tutorial for you today. This one um, is going to be about mapping and all it involves, um, that kind of thing. Um, I'm sure there'll be some stuff I forget, um, the odd mistake, you know, I mean, it's a complicated subject, but you're going to get a really, really good idea of what's possible. So, uh, let's get into it. Okay, the first thing you're all going to want to do, yeah, um, is have an actual map of the lake. So for that, we require Google. Um, so there's two ways of doing it. You do it from a hotspot or you um, do it from your home internet. Okay, so for that, the boat stays off, the transmitter box stays off. Yeah, then um, you start your tablet, you connect it to your hotspot if you're at the lake. Um, or if you're at home, then you connect it to your home internet. Once you've done that, start the app. Yeah, and then you'll see if it is an example, you're in a hotspot, you're at the lake, um, then an image of that lake will appear. So all you do is pinch and zoom, switch the satellite view, get all the data you need, um, and then it's finished. You know, if you was at home, you'd scroll over to where the lake is, you're fishing, um, and then once again, same thing, pinch and zoom till you've got all the data you need. Yeah, so we'll say that's done already. As you can see, this is our test lake, so um, we're ready to map. So what we're going to need to do now is uh, basically create a raster. Now what you'll see is you'll see the polylines appear. Um, you know, it, it, these are all the tracks that has already been driven on the lake. So um, you've got a few options here already. Yeah, uh, I'll just create a small one, two, three, four, and then complete it. And then you'll get this menu, yeah? So your orientation, it's vertical. Horizontal or horizontal and vertical if you want a really detailed map. Um, if you've not got many features, you know, I would I would just, you know, horizontal, vertical, it's, it's fine. You know, uh, maybe switch your tracks to 10 meters distance between them. Um, we'll leave it at five for now. Um, we'll give it a uh, file name, so test map. Yeah, then uh, create raster. Okay, so there's all the points. If you look in there, look, um, you can see it yourself, it's fine. Um, so then what we do is uh, start autopilot. Now it will start recording as soon as it gets to uh, point one, which it says there. And when it's done, you'll get the uh, you get the files you need to actually create the map, you know, to start, you know, looking into what you can do, what you can't do, um, and this, that, and the other. So I think we'll stop the autopilot. So stop. Yeah, so that's that's that cancelled now. Yeah, um, and we'll have a look basically as you know the the mapping of the, is finished. You know the boat stops. Then you want to create the files. So you choose this icon here. Um, choose that one. Okay, and there you have the map. So in this you've got uh, details boundaries which we'll go into that kind of thing um, but for now it's on a um, a set sort of palette if you like you know the colors and all the rest of it so it's 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 not a problem so as you can see shallow water medium water, and deep water yeah so for shallow you know red you know that, that's fine medium we'll leave it I mean you can change it to anything you want so you know you're, you're playing around with the colors and this that and the other um, as an example, all right, uh, we're going to have shallow water, we're going to have red. Where the shallow water ends, we'll have yellow, green, that kind of thing. You know, your possibilities are endless. It's, it's personal preference. But should you um, do something and go, oh, no, I really don't like that, you know, then all you do is click reset and it sets it back to the original, okay? So uh, one other thing, you know, um, also in mapping, if you've only just basically got basic 3d mapping um, you've also got for a whole week um, you've got the option to choose structure mapping and real vision 3d you know it's a week for you to play around with it see if you want to use it we'll go into more details about that later um, isobaric yeah or barycentric yeah so it's not a great difference but if, if you see here it's it's clearly defined um, you know the, the depths how it goes deeper and all the rest of it um, barycentric yeah what happens then is it's more of a merge you know so you really would see a little bit more detail it, it goes into it it's, it's you know you get the drop-offs and that kind of thing 
I mean, like I said, I mean, most people, they do just sort of, you know, they leave it on what it originally is. You know, it's, it's nice to have, you know, play around with it. You know, you can't do anything wrong. So just leave it as it is. So we want to add depth map. Give it the name. Testing map. Add depth map. It's easy enough to do that. That's basically, you know, the basic um, map, if you like. Yeah. So as you can see over here, um, there's options up there. I'll go into that. So that's that structure map in pro. That's the different options you have. So um, we'll delete that for now because that's a basic mapping done. Yeah. And what we'll do. OK. So. Let's load up the map again. Okay. So I explained about colours, you know, um, I'm going to leave that as it is. So this is where it gets interesting. Um, all the, you know, all the things you can do with it. Uh, show major contour lines. You know, you want to do that because it's obviously depths. M uh, minor contour lines obviously leave it on you know show depth numbers um you want that you know but here's where it gets a little bit interesting okay go a little bit more so this is your 3d aspect yeah this is actually where you get to see it um and i think it's really really interesting you know um and another thing you know what what is also good you know with this now, if you look here, there's a plateau there, plateau there, yeah? So you can actually add a point. Black spot appears, yeah? So, uh, yeah. Okay. And then we're going to call that um, test spot. And you'll see later why it's important, yeah? Um, there you go. It's already on there, test spot. Um, but yeah, like I said, the depth, the depth scaling, you know, I mean, you can really, you know, <laughs> it's quite wild really to, you know, because it gives you a completely different aspect of how your, you know, a, you know, a visual of how your lake actually looks in the 3D realm. Um, this will be coming um, to the final version as well. Um, it's not, it's not done yet, but it will be coming. Yeah, so we're going to knock it back all the way. So another thing also under boundaries, yeah, you can add an island or you can add a margin. Yeah, so really, really, uh, really good. So I'm going to say uh, add a margin. OK, now you can see it's it's kind of see through. So if you look here, two, three, four. There you go, there's your margin added. Oh, I forgot to give it a name again. Look. Test map. God, I don't know. Here we go. So the map's being generated. And then you'll see basically, um, you know, there's, there is not an island in the test lake, but you can see um, if there's an island on your lake, um, then you'll see basically there's, you know, there's the island, you know. So same thing again. You know, for the margins of the lake. Yeah. Now, if you notice, that's that test. That's that test spot. Yeah. So it's a way of picking your spots on the lake. Um, you know, it's just another way of picking your spots. You know, I mean, you know, you're setting up. Um, send the boat out first. You know, let it do all its mapping and all the rest of it while you're setting up your bivy, getting your rods out, that kind of thing. You know, and then, you know, because when you're finished, um, the map of the lake's been done, or at least the area you're fishing's been done. Um, and you can basically send out, uh, send a boat out to any interesting spots that are on the map. Um, like I said, you don't have to do the whole lake. You know, if you're, if you're doing sessions, so you do one swim, one day, you know, so this is where this bit comes in. All your different sessions, you know, for that lake, you know, as long as you've named it properly, um, they will all be listed in here, yeah? So it's not a problem to basically, you know, take a while. I mean, obviously, 
offish big lakes as well, you know, 30, 40 hectares, you know, it's going to take a while. There's no way you can map it all um, because there are other people on the lake, uh, this, that and the other. So what we're going to move on to now is uh, sort of structure mapping. So let's uh, load an overlay. Okay. Test map. Add map. So there you have it. So what we want to do now, right, is, uh, in fact, I've actually gone one too far. So let me just delete that. And then we'll load up that again. Okay. So stru uh, show structure. Okay, so that's now turned on. Um, as you can see, same again, you've got uh, the full color palettes, you know, um, structure map into slightly different colors because, you know, um, you're wanting to show the hardness of the bottom, basically. So if you go into here. So it's not, um, it's not no different, but obviously with structure mapping, you just have more options, um, that kind of thing, you know. Whether you use it or not, I don't know. Um, same sort of thing, you know. I mean, there you can really, really see how it drops right down, you know, and that's a fast drop as well. So, you know, if I was fishing, you know, it might not be, you know, it's not really somewhere you want to place a lead because it's not going to stay there, you know. So you want to get these more gradual spots, you know, look like this here. It's a slow down on this side where the plateau is, yeah, so where we mark the spot, that drops off really quick as well, you know. So, that you know, beyond that point, I wouldn't want to be fishing, you know. Um, presentation is everything, you know. So, that's that point of view, if you like, um, because you want the best presentation you can get, you know. So, it's... it's, it's, it's uh, just about you know how you fish you know um it gives you the options of seeing um you know like structure mapping about how hard the bottom is how you know how deep that hardness goes down that kind of thing yeah so boundaries would have been over you know you could add a margin you know you plot around all the margin areas you know it just takes too long to do it now so but basically it just cleans the map up yeah um and that's that's really what you want you know so Add depth map. A name again. <laughs> Test map. Add map. I mean that that's also really, you know, this 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 um software basically is also really really good you know you can't make any mistakes you can have a play around you can you know do the different colors that kind of thing you know so great so you can see here we'll switch here yeah so actually normal depth map everybody gets that that's not a problem yeah um structure mapping pro then you move over you know ground structure um next one is ground surface so You've got options, you know. I mean, have a play around with the app. It's not, you know, it's it's not a big deal. Um, play around with the colours. I mean, I, I mean to be fair, I do actually find the standard colour palette. You know, in the beginning, I did play around with it, and you know, some freaky looking maps. You know, psychedelic. Um, but in the end, you know, standard colour palette is where it's at. I think. You know, so like I said, just play around with it. You know, try the different colours. You know. We're all, we're all different, you know. Um, I think in the end, most people will just leave it as standard. Um, but it's, you know, it's not a problem. It really isn't. You know, you can play around with it, choose your colours, choose everything you want, um, and it, and it's done. You know, it, it, you can't make mistakes. You know, once that original recording's done, you know, you can you can change that and play around with it as much as you like and keep regenerating the map. So you can't make a mistake. You know, if it is, you just delete it and start again. Reset the colour palettes, that kind of thing. So anyway, I hope this has been interesting for you. I'm sure I've missed some bits out, you know, made the odd mistake. Um, you know, it's a video. What you know? What do you want to do? You know. So until the next one, I shall see you later.